Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. When we last left off we went further into the deep roads and then had to fight for a quite a while. Some a wave of dark spawn. It was uh it was alright. <laughs> it went okay, I mean. We didn't really die, but it was long. Um I did some research on my own about this, about um the Night Enchanter class. And apparently there's a thing called blade charges or something along those lines. Um, where is it? Yeah, it says it b generates charge more quickly. So it's like as it gets more charges, the more damage it does. Which is why when I was attacking, it's only been doing 100, 400. And sometimes it would vary wildly. Because I would have different amounts of charges each time. So the more charge you have, the more damage you do. Um, and I didn't know that. <laughs> so I've just been using my blade as to smack things. But apparently if you build it up, and I think the max charge you can get is 99. If you build it up to that, you can do a big, you can do like these big massive hits. Um, so I've did, I did a slight change. Um, instead of being a defending blade where you defect, deflect incoming projectiles of the spirit blade. Well, that's good. It's kind of... Eh. But other than that, it's not really useful. Um, but then I've switched over to Amplified Blade, which means the charges generate more quickly, which means I can attack more frequently, because that's why I got this. Um, but when I attack, I use it all in one hit, which will be fine, because that means I can do one big-ass hit, rather than slash, 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 and stuff like that. Uh, and apparently the charge builds up as you attack enemies. So as you're attacking enemies, the charge should build up, and it should show up on the thing. So I'm going to keep that in mind. As I continue my trek through the, through the DLC. But we're going to head back and open that other gate we saw. Because we need to. Well, I want to. I want to see what's behind it. Uh, so, yeah. so people that have been watching this have probably been that know about that and, you know, are either good builders at their classes or something. They've probably been screaming at their screens like, What are you doing? You should be doing this! You're a dumbass! In which case, I'm sorry. I was a dumbass. <laughs> What's behind this door? The cry is four plus thing. I thought I had four. I honestly don't then. Unless... Well, there are actually two types of gears. There's the, the weird, warm, ancient ones, and then the bloodstained ones. Obviously, I've been picking up different ones. I think I've... Can I actually have a look at my... Not my inventory, my journal. Okay, so I've only collected one. So I need a few more. Hey, it's good to know. At least I now know where I stand with that. And a dead end and a dead end. Pull the lever, Kronk. Hello. Let us make camp. Nice. Huh. That's the last of those, Darkspawn. Legion's in your debt, Inquisitor. Look at this, Ren. It's ancient. Maybe a thousand years old. Any idea who built it? Or why? This Tig is on top of a lyrium mine. According to the memories, the mine was destroyed by some unexplained disaster. The miners must have used this lift to reach the lower five. levels. But we're not using it, right? If there is a titan causing earthquakes, it's down there. I found this book with the emissary. The pages are mostly ruined, but a few are readable. Why the hell is See it this line? A book? I awoke to the singing stone. Our kingdom trembled at the titan's hymn. That reference to Singing Stone, 
I've been told that raw lyrium has a sound. A hum. The mining cast follows it to find lyrium veins. They say it's the stone calling to them. Perhaps it wasn't chance that the quakes destroyed lyrium mines. Is it possible the Darkspawn or their emissary could also hear the song? The stone would never call to those vile things. But that doesn't mean they can't hear her. Darkspawn live and die by the Blight. They don't care for much else. I didn't realize you knew so much about Darkspawn motives. Not everything's a mystery, Volta. Some things are exactly as they appear. And some things are not. Well, we need more information. How can we be sure what the book says is true? We shouldn't force connections that don't exist. Perhaps this will change your mind. Look here. It's the royal seal of Orsic Garal. King Orsic Garal? That book belonged to a paragon? Maybe you are onto something, Volta. Of course you'd take a dead man's word over mine. Always the traditionalist. Hey, challenging tradition lost you a cushy position in Orzammar. Does a king's book mean that much to you, Ren? Paragons are the best of our people. They don't hand that title out to just anyone. Not even a king. That Knowing that the was book from the start would have saved us an argument. As if you'd ever avoid an argument. Huh? What does he mean you lost your position? I thought you were a shaper. Not all shapers have the same duties. Mine were... adjusted. When my superiors ordered me to remove an official record from the memories, I declined. We decided it would be best if I served the Shaper it here, finding history instead of recording it. Ha. Huh. That record must have been important to risk your position over it. It was trivial, actually. A childhood friend of King Balin had ancestral ties to the Carta. But the truth is the truth, no matter how political it may be. The Shaper it can erase official records? Aren't the memories permanent? Sometimes erasing records is standard procedure. If a dwarf becomes castless, they're struck from the memories. But I was asked to change a fact that someone important merely found inconvenient. If the Shaper it is willing to erase memories, what would prevent them from covering up the existence of Titans? Why would they do that? Because someone in power demanded it. I had no idea the Shaper it was so corrupt. Institutions aren't corrupt. Only people. I wish abusing memories for political gain was a rarity. I remember Orzammar as an honorable kingdom. You've been gone a long time, Ren. I'm sorry I brought it up. The earthquakes are what matters. I don't know where this lift leads, but... We're about to find out the hard way. Get ready. I'm not going down it just yet. I need to go sell crap. I have so much things. These tomes were pristine before the deep roads. Shaper Seabor's going to kill me. Who? You seem quite excited by the idea that these titans may exist. My connection to the stone allows me to hear it, but I can only listen. Titans can sing through the stone. It is extraordinary. We call ourselves children of the stone. What is that? It's like. I have. Is there anything in particular you'd like to know? No. That's a. Of course. Thanks. My. We'll speak another. Best way to get out darkspawn stains? Vroog. It's a Legion secret. What the fuck is view? Vroog. Thanks for your time. I am being very potty mouth for some reason. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> The Eternal Battle Darkspawn. Unless there's a blight, services reserved for the Darkspawn for cautionary religions, religious lessons, and bedtime stories. That is a luxury Orzma cannot afford. Without the Legion of the Dead's continuous effort, our great tag would have undoubtedly been lost to the blighters long ago. Still, the question remains where did the monsters come from? It's given that the Chantry's beliefs in the Darkspawn origins are nonsense. They were not cast down from a fable city, they were crawled up from deep recesses of the earth. We know now that Darkspawn come from Brood Mothers. Perhaps at the very heart of the world sits the Queen, the First Mother. Instead of focusing on the children, we should target the Rogue Brothers and ensure that the fake future reinforcements will not be born. Written in the margins of two set of handwriting, presumably from Lieutenant Red and Charlie Volta. Chopping off the head should do the trick. Write in one of the books again, it's your head at risk. Okay. 
I've got a rest to resupply. Now, is there... Has the Inquisitor earned your respect now, Yakar? Have I? Have I? You better say yes or I'll smash your face in. Because I am a canary, I can do that. Not that I will, I'm just saying I can. There's another chest. You might need to fast travel to the first one again in order to get the uh, operations and selling crap. Spindleweed. Summerstone. Another tankard. Everard's experience. This cup is cracked. It has clearly seen action and no longer holds ale without leaking. Requires five ancient bloods and gears. Lucy. Ice bow. I need to sell some crap again, don't I? Son of Song. This staff gives a faintly audible hum when touched. A wistful tune as if it were thinking of a faraway forgotten place. Hmm. It... Hmm. They're both level 21, but the Scepter of Razakel actually gives me things I can upgrade, whereas the other one just has an empty rune slot. But it looks much cooler. Head up one floor. Head here. Do some of the shape it, or not the shape it, the war table or whatever commission tables. What we got? T Bros Expedition, Hydra and Tig Central Bridge. Covered an interesting artifact halfway down the ruins of Hydra and Tig. A construction team could build a bridge that grants access to the large monument in the center of the cavern. Experienced soldiers should accompany the construction team in case unforeseen or dangers around this artifact. Sounds good. The construction team has completed a bridge halfway down the ruins of the Taig that will allow Inquisition forces to explore the large monument in the center of the cavern. And then this has identified an ancient dwarven ruin near the darkspawn nest at the bottom of the Hydra Taig. A bridge could easily be built. Ancient, an agent knowledgeable about the deep roads can keep the destruction team away from the worst of the dark nests. Which the destruction team completed a bridge near the dark nest nests in the ruins of Hydra and Tig that will allow Inquisition forces to explore the ancient dwarven ruin at the bottom of the cavern. Make sure to be well equipped for a fight. Okay, anything on this side? No, still nothing. Okay, let's sell some crap. Sell this. This actually isn't that good. Is it two-handed? Yeah, it's a great sword. So yeah. Sell. Sell.
so many runes. Alright, so we got some stuff. Let's see if we can build one of the things. Where is it? Here it is. Revered Long Defender Longsword. Hakon's Honor. Separate rage. Hakon's Valor. Aram Infused Staff. Hakon's Wisdom. Masterwork Enchanter. Blade of Tedarian. Ooh, that looks awesome. Damn, reinforced longbow. Revered defender bulwark. That is really thick. I meant to create a, one of the things. Build it. Dragon boat, of course, in order to get it the best. We'll give it 16 critical chance. 32. And we'll do Everite. Armor 220 DPS. But fire does it for everything. through see if we can equip stuff so I'm gonna pause so you don't have to see me go through all this and then we'll continue I'm just coming back for a split second because I just found a tankard that's here it's literally on the table and it just says enchanted stein and I guess this is just where we put the tankers as we find them so I'm just showing you where it is and we're back hello everyone just uh, did some changes I upgraded some of the runes some of them are superb now and we're going to keep going. Uh, I also did... We, 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 you saw those. We're going to go and try and head to one of these. So I'm going to put a map marker here. The blight! It's spreading! Yes. It's going to hurt. Just remember, you're already dead. Drink some ale. It will help. I wish the bastard had run me through. 
Okay then. So we're gonna head back. Use the ancient lift. I'll use the ancient lift when I'm good and ready. But check out the two places I got. get something good. Hopefully we do. Someone should really put these fires out. I don't even know what they're burning on. There's nothing to burn. Go right about. And again. And once more. And one more. Here's collected, 5th gate, 6th gate, and 7th gate. The Stein. Lost memory. The world's best shaper is stamped into the side of the mug in an obnoxious script. Oh, it's another one. Uh, is there going to be any gears down here I can pick up? One of these. Strike, Commander's Vitar. No. I don't want to do that, I wanted to jump. No. I get no. No! I get out of the way. Let me jump, let me jump, let me jump, let me jump. Why do they have to put it so freaking close to the thing so I can't actually press the A button without having to turn this freaking lever? There we go. I thought I'd just chop that bit out because. Bleh. <laughs> go. I'm gonna make a marker here so I know where to go. You. I'm not yeah. going to fight you. Don't be scared. Go away. Out for any more gears. Excuse me, Mr. Rock. Oh boy, so we're going to have to climb up some more ladders. Something's roaring. I might as well call this ladder climbing simulator or something.
Hopper up and up. One more. And then we're done after this one. It's a nice place. Too bad I have to climb up ladders. I claim this area. Monument to Hedron Deep. This lonely podium is carved from a stone pillar reaching up in the darkness. From the inscription, Paragon Hedron's remains are entombed here under a massive stone likeness of the legendary dwarf. At this vantage point, it is hard to appreciate the scope of the tribute. Bow, can't finish her. Is it going to be a thing as like when we open it? It's empty. He's still alive. We have this artifact. Noise. Huh? It's telling me there's something over here. It's down there. No, no, no. Okay. So another blitz race to gear. There's one more. But where is it? around the other side to see if there's anything there. Got them all dutifully climbing the ladder. Yep. I think that's it. Alright, um, where else could I have missed one? Okay, so apparently there's one near the elevator, but instead of going down it, we go round or something. Uh, I think. So we'll go fast travel up here. Go to the elevator. And instead of taking the elevator down, you actually climb down. At least that's as far as I can tell. Really? There's 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 park there's like climbing segments or jumping segments. Huh. Here's a little I'll go if I can jump down to Boom! Supply chest. Can I make that jump? Just, just able to. Superb. Another one. Keep going. Much more interesting than the elevator ride. And there's a balcony. Up and over. Bloodstained ancient gear. Nice. So we can do the fifth and sixth gate, but we still need one for the seventh. Uh, I hope there's one nearby. Alright, so 
so that's that one. We can now open some of the doors. We can open this one. Not that one. Where's the other... Fifth? Sixth? Oh, I'm missing one. We're going to stop here. Uh, next episode... I'll look up where else to find the gears and then from there we'll probably try and we'll go and try and find those. So thank you all for joining me. Hope you all enjoyed so far. Hope the sound's all good now. And uh I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, thanks for watching and ciao.